Hello and welcome to the night show in the Rebel Nation. I'm your host, Ralph Schneider. And I am Ben Schmidt, the number one podcaster in the world. Okay, okay, calm down, Ben. What do you mean, my boy? Anyway, for our first segment, we are going to listen to the chorus of the trending song in the Rebel Nation. It is a very profound song about killing AIDS Hitler, the descendant of Adolf Hitler, our most hated man in the Rebel Nation. Yeah, the song almost brought me to tears. Let's listen to it. This is gonna be your mystery, the end of AIDS history. This is gonna be your mystery, the end of AIDS victory. This is gonna be your mystery, the end of AIDS history. This is gonna be your mystery, the end of AIDS victory. We've got our gun at the kill him. No, no, no. Keep running, we're coming. We've got our gun at the kill him. No, no, no. Chance you'll win Yeah, 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 yeah You won't win You can't win Yeah, 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 yeah Keep running Keep running We're going to Yeah, 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 yeah You won't win You can't win Yeah, 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 yeah Yeah, you're gonna die It's Hitler It's okay, Ben. I know. We all despise him. Okay, now let's get to the best part of today. We have a special guest joining us today to talk about Hitler Day, or the day Nazi Germany took over in World War II. Yeah, as many of you know already, Nazi Germany rise in 1939 was led by the ruthless dictator Adolf Hitler. Millions of Polish and Jewish people were put in concentration camps and killed, even children. There was no remorse, no bigger genocide. Yeah, I know, because the Triple Alliance wanted to blame Germany for the events of the World War I. I mean, it was kind of obvious. European states weren't going to be able to beat the rise of Nazi Germany. They were going, gaining power by the minute and their technology was advancing faster than Christopher Columbus killing the natives. I'm joking. But on a real note, if only the US joined the war, at least we would have something going for us. Yeah, like European enlightenment for what? They advance all their weapons and colonize all these countries just to lose enough to Germany? Well, here he comes. Have a seat, sir. Wow, thank you so much for having me. So what is it you want to speak about today? Actually, tell us your name first. Oh, uh, my name is Demetrius Demarcus Bartholomew III Jr. What are you, a time traveler or something? <laughs> well, actually, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're joking, right? <laughs> no, that's actually why I came here. You're joking, right? No. Y you know what? I'm intrigued. Tell us about this time traveling that you do, Dylan. You can call me Marcus. Whatever, Marvin, just tell us. Okay, believe it or not, I'm from the future and the Japanese attacked this harbor in America on the coast of what was called Hawaii. I don't know if that's what it's called during this time, but it's known as Pearl Harbor in the future. Oh uh, yeah, I think I remember hearing about the harbor by the same name. Wait a second, you're telling me the Japanese attacked America, but why? America wasn't even involved in the war. I know it might sound hard to believe, but yes, the Japanese did attack them. The attack on Pearl Harbor led to America joining the war. All right, all right, this is ridiculous. There is no way something like that could have happened. Ben, why did we even let this guy on? Well, hold on. What real reason does he have to lie? I mean, he knew about Pearl Harbor and Hawaii. Even we barely have any records on that place. You gotta believe me. I went back in time just to prevent it from happening because a lot of people died in the attack and it caused America to launch the nuclear bombs against Hiroshima and Nagasaki in Japan. I had to convince the leader of Japan, Hiroto, to not bomb America in Pearl Harbor, even though he really wanted to do so. Japan was very much angered at America at the time for their oppressive behavior and their unwillingness to allow Japan to expand. This caused Japan to join an alliance with Germany and Italy and send ships raining down the harbor. Wait, 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 back up. Nuclear weapons used by America. Those were invented years after whenever this attack would have taken place by the German scientist Werner Heisenberg. Yeah, those awful weapons were the sole reason Germany was even able to win the war and expand their empire across the, most of the world. If America had that kind of power, 
Why wouldn't they use it? Wait, what? Germany conquered the world? This was not what I had planned. In my timeline after Japan attacked Pearl Harbor, America focused their efforts on creating atomic bombs as a mean of retaliation. When they bombed Japan and entered the war, it was a surefire sign that the Axis power has lost. Well, this is way too specific to be faked. We've barely even heard these things he just mentioned. I know, right? I have no idea what he's going on about. He said he sounds like he's being honest. The confusion in his voice is hard to fake. Okay then, Marlin. We'll hear you out. So how exactly are things going in your so-called timeline? This is a lot to process. This isn't what I had in mind. Snap out of it! Get yourself together. We have questions and we want you to answer them. Yeah, sorry. So after the US joined the war, Germany and the rest of the Axis powers lost shortly after. Hitler killed himself and Germany faced even more repercussions than they did following World War I. Nowadays, there's hundreds of different countries and nations all around the world, with America being one of the strongest or most influential. Whoa, that sounds great. Wait a second, you're telling me by you going back and preventing this attack on Pearl Harbor, you created the hellscape we now live in? Are you serious? Wait, please. I'm sorry. This isn't what I wanted. I wanted to stop the bombing of Japan because of how many unnecessary deaths it caused. It led to the USSR and America producing thousands of nuclear weapons, which could be sent out at any moment to essentially destroy the world with the press of one red button. I never could have expected all this. Alright, calm down, Ralph. He seems sincere. Well, in that case, do you have any questions for us? Wait, so I heard you talk about AIDS Hitler? What is he doing now? Is he still as terrible as Adolf Hitler? Is America still America? Why is everything around here so deteriorated and messed up? Whoa, whoa, whoa. slow down one at a time, okay? So I'll answer some of your questions, okay? The Nazis are still in power, and living conditions are rough. There are surveillance cameras placed everywhere, watching every movement of everyone in the German Empire. Poverty and hunger are major issues worldwide, and even in places beyond the Empire. Just as our rebel nation. However, Nazis still frequently patrol in our nation as there isn't much we can really do to fight back. America is mostly now the German Empire, except for the small chunk that we managed to claim. People are being grouped based on their appearances and race, just like how it was in the old Nazi Germany back in the early 1900s. There are still concentration camps everywhere with anyone who isn't in the master race of Orion people. This is terrible. What have I done? I'm so sorry for everything that's happened because of what I did. In my time, although poverty is still prevalent and surveillance is on the rise, it's nowhere near as bad as what it seems like here. People in all parts of the world are diverse and free, for the most part, to follow whatever leader, religion, or ideology they want. I don't know what to do. This is terrible. Is it possible for you to travel back in time and not prevent that attack? Just leave it be and let time do its thing instead of making the situation worse. Well, I'm not entirely sure. Time travel is a difficult technology and it's very new, and I still need Palladium to start it up, and I have no idea how I'm going to get it. I'm not entirely sure what could happen, but I suppose anything is better than this hellhole. The time machine is in the back. I could show you how it works and maybe how you two could help. Open up, you're under arrest. We have no time. It's the police officers. They must have bugged to the room and heard what we were talking about. If we do this now, we have to do it now. Well, I suppose I've been looking for some way to get out of here. Ben, Marcel, let's do some time traveling. Okay, hurry. Let's go. We're breaking down the door. Wait, where'd they go? They disappeared. Hurry and search the premises. Roger that. Have you found the rebel hosts? Those traitors must be found and punished effectively and immediately. Trying to tear down the legacy of the Nazi party is an unforgivable act. Yes, and it was stupid of them to televise their wrongdoings. Haha, <laughs> yes. Finding them will be like taking candy from a baby. 